Sean, obviously it's been a quick turnaround in games. How's everyone looking physically? Um, everyone physically that is fit is good. Um, we're hopeful that James Scott might make the squad. Um, but now everyone else is, uh, that was fit the other night, um, we, we, we don't add or we can't add anyone else to that list um, at the moment. So, um, no, we go again. Yeah, we come into this one, obviously, four unbeaten, mm -hmm. three clean sheets. Defensively, you must be very happy. Yeah, I think um, I think we have to have a balance. Um, like defensively, we've been very strong. I think it's seven clean sheets in our 13 games. Um, but to, to win games... Um, and to finish in the one top six and top four, we're going to need to, to have a little bit more of a balance. At the moment, very good defensively. Um, even the first sort of stages in the game, Dundee, were good, but it's that final third that the, there has to be a, a difference in intensity and intent. Um, look, we can pass through opposition to a certain point, but we have to hurt them as well. And um, In parts in that first half in Dundee, we didn't. And it's going to have to be different against St. Johnston. Yeah, against St. Johnson, obviously, it's going to be a full house at yeah. Easter Road. Firstly, on that, how how pleased are you that, that so many people have taken advantage of the football for Fiverr? Yeah, campaign? really pleased. I think um, when we've had really big crowds, I felt like it's um, it's an inspiration for players, staff. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I love the atmosphere at the stadium. Uh, saying that, also the people that turn up when there isn't initiatives, I want to say th thanks for them because this is their club. But um, no, it's a really big thing the club's done with the football for Fiverr. So, um, yeah, I, I really hope that the team puts in a performance that actually sends them proud of their team. Yeah, the atmosphere will drive the players on, but also the players obviously have to, to drive the atmosphere. It's too. both, yeah, it's both. Um, I think what you saw in some of the big games, um, Hearts, Celtic, um, there's been a real connection. And I think it's probably the players have to lead that. They have to give the supporters and show them a, a real intensity and intent to not get beat, uh, compete. And then I feel like the fans uh, then can connect to that. Um, the way fans at Dundee were very good. It's the first time they've sung my name away, so I really appreciate that. Um, and I wish I'd gave them a win. But um, no, just a shout out to them. I did, uh, I did hear them and uh, yeah, it was much appreciated. Yeah, obviously it is a big game. We're coming to a, a crucial part of the season. How much do you think a sold out atmosphere or how big a part could that play on the game? It could play a huge part. I think when, when we've had a big crowd in our stadium, it does make a big difference. Um, look, that's my job. I have to give them something. Uh, and look, we've had the AGM last couple of days, spoke to a lot of supporters. That's my job. I have to give them a team that they're proud of, that excite them. And I know we're not there yet. Now we've got foundations, we've got really good defensive part of the team. Now I have to build a team that excites them. Um, and we're nowhere near that now. Um, so I have to find the answers to try and create. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm giving absolutely everything to do that. Uh, I'm dedicating my life to give them a team that actually they're really, really proud of. Yeah, and St. Johnson have had a, a difficult campaign, but they performed very well against against Rangers uh, last weekend. What, what do you what do you expect from them? Yeah, they were very good against Rangers. Um, they've changed their style. Um, they're definitely trying to play more, uh, trying to keep the ball a lot more than than uh, maybe previous seasons. Good players. They've signed good players. Melker's obviously gone there. Um, he looks in good form. Uh, they signed Butterfield as well. So um, it's a different type of St. Johnson that maybe I saw earlier in the season. So it'll be a test, test of us out of possession um, and in possession. I, I hope we have that bit more aggression, um, take away the fear of, lo of losing the ball um, and have a real intent to try and hurt them when we do, uh, when we do have possession of the ball. Yeah, you, you mentioned team news at, at the beginning in terms of James Scott might become available. Um, obviously, we're missing Rocky. How much of a blow will that be? Yeah, it is a blow. I think uh, he's brought something that we didn't have, uh, brought his attributes to the team since I signed him, so really pleased with how that's worked. Um, I know from Rocky's point of view, he's loving it. He really has enjoyed the club and the city. So a big miss for the next two games. Um, so we have to find the answers to that um, with the team. Um, and James, obviously, yeah, like I mentioned, hopefully he's available. He's had a very bad chest infection, but he's put himself forward to, to play without much training. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, we'll have uh, more kids on the bench, but we have to go, we have to push them. and. Uh, and try and get a positive result. Yeah, just on those young players, obviously the 18s are playing tonight in the semi-final against Rangers. I presume if they play tonight, they, they can still play tomorrow. Yeah, they'll uh, they'll have to. That's the way that we are in at the moment. Um, I have to support the under-18s. They've done fantastically well to get to the semis. Um, Gareth and Steve Keane should be super proud. Um, but I have to give them the opportunity to, to win that game. But 
Um, I'll need uh, Oscar and Jacob um, for the squad tomorrow. So um, if we have to maybe slightly manage their minutes, we might have to. But it's a cup semi-final, and um, for them tonight, the priority is uh, is their under-18 teammates and their manager. Yeah, how much of a selection headache do you have at the minute? Obviously, ten senior players out, p potentially even eleven if mm. obviously James doesn't make the game. Yeah, it's huge. Um, I've never really known anything like this. Um, uh, to lose that many, um, I think, uh, and the way that the window finished, I think you can see that we are missing that real sort of speed and atten intent in the final third. Um, that's my job. I have to come up with the answers. Very difficult situation, but we've also got young players coming in. Um, they've shown inconsistencies at times, and now I feel like they're showing a real desire to push through, push through that. So. That's football, it's somebody else's opportunity and um, you now the players have to go and take it. Yeah, and just finally, just a word on Kevin Nisbet. Obviously, the news broke about him missing uh, the rest of this campaign just before the Dundee game. Um, he was going to see a specialist. Is there any kind of further updates on him? Yeah, he sees a specialist next week um, um, down in London. So um, we'll know the exact time frame of how long he's out next week. Um, we know it's this season. I think uh, likely it is it's going to be a lot, lot longer. So. Um, yeah, it's tough news for Kevin, tough news for the team, um, but we'll support him. What I would say about Kevin is that uh, it's a big a big hurdle. Uh, players have had that hurdle before and came back better players, so um, I'm positive that Kevin's going to come back a better player. Very committed to the club, um, and we're here to support him as much as possible. Absolutely, Sean. Thank you for speaking to us. No problem. Thanks a lot. Cheers.